All right, a lot going on at the State House right now. There's always a lot going on at the State House <laughs> right now. WPRI.com reporter Ted Nisi joining us now. And we want to talk about first, I guess, the uh, same sex marriage thing is now in the rearview mirror. So, what happens next? Well, Patrick, one of the interesting things about Rhode Island is that in other states, when same sex marriage passed, it was then brought up in a referendum. People could challenge the law. Mm -hmm. There's no way to do that in Rhode Island. So, it's the law. People, gays and lesbians, will be able to get married in Rhode Island on August 1st. And um, after that, it's, it's expected to stay law unless somehow the opponents of this get enough votes to pass a new law repealing it, which is, seems very, very unlikely. So it's very likely same-sex marriage is here to stay in Rhode Island. All right, uh, gun control, obviously a huge issue, not only in this state, but in states all across the country over because of what's happened over the last uh, you know, year or so. What is the latest on that issue in Rhode Island? Well, the politics of this are interesting because uh, we saw Governor Chafee, along with the Senate President and the House Speaker, roll out some very ambitious bills that would impose new gun control laws. There has been a backlash. We've seen huge, deep into the night hearings right. going with opponents of the new gun control bills coming out. And frankly, from what I'm hearing, there's a lot of uncertainty among rank and file Democrats in the House and the Senate about whether they really want to pass these and anger some uh, portion of their constituents who are against that. So right now we're waiting to see which bills will actually be brought up? Will they be watered down? What will actually get to the floor of the House and Senate and onto Governor Chafee's desk? That's still very unclear. All right, so let's get to, there's no off season as far as uh, the uh, gubernatorial cycle goes in Rhode Island. And you, you hear more about people that might be thinking about running for governor. You, we've had the stories about, you know, who has how much money in their war chest, kind of get a better idea about who might be running. Who's on the uh, Who's on the roster right now, do you think? So right now we have, uh, it's already getting pretty packed. Right. And uh, the interesting thing is that means Governor Chafee might have a good chance, or at least a decent chance of winning re-election, surprisingly for someone who has a 28% or so approval rating. Right now, Gina Raimondo and Angel Tavares among the Democrats. Uh, Gina Raimondo has $1.7 million, a huge amount this early. Sounds like she's ready. She, she's ready. She was in California last week, apparently raising more money out there. Angel Tavares has been out there. Um, we also have Alan Fung on the Republican side looking to run. We have the moderate party founder, Ken Block, and Ernie Almonte, another Democrat, as well as others saying they're looking at it. So you have a ton of people looking at this race, and that's good for Governor Chafee, because people will remember in 2010, he didn't win a lot of the vote. He only right. won 36%, but that's all you need when there's four major candidates in the race. So uh, the, the election could be cited as much this year by who decides to run right. as what people vote next year. All right, 20 seconds. Frank Caprio, is he going to get back into the game, you think? He's back. Uh, He's Frank back. Caprio, former Treasurer Caprio, we all remember him. He ran for governor in 2010. His, his campaign kind of imploded at the end, but he's still pretty young and he's still ambitious. And now he is apparently putting together a campaign to take back his old job as treasurer. He wants to succeed Gene Raimondo and get that job back. And people are saying, our own analyst Joe Fleming told me, Caprio has a very good shot to come back. High name recognition and people like the job he did last time. As long as he doesn't say what? Shove it. No <laughs> more shove it. I think he's learned that lesson uh, loud and clear, although I don't think President Obama will be endorsing him. No, I don't think so. Ted, thank you as always, if you want to know more about any of the topics we just discussed, log on to our website, foxprovidence.com.